Assalamu alaikum everyone It's Adri Maji again with another useful video as always In this video I am going to show you how to use my free after effect project file to create the latest uh, title reveal animation of Pix Imperfect channel If you don't know what uh, who Pix Imperfect is it is the youtube channel which provides a lot of uh, photoshop tutorial he is the legend of photoshop man uh, he creates a lot of photoshop tutorial and his name is Humes uh, if you ever search the YouTube for Photoshop, you, there is no way you can overlook his channel. Mm, he is the legend as I said. Just go ahead and subscribe his channel if you want to learn a lot more about Photoshop. Uh, so, he has a, uh, he has a latest uh, light rate build animation for his video. I, have, I just had a thought about recreating that animation in After Effects. As I thought, I just created the animation and I just provided you to use it for free I mean I just provided that after the project file for you to use it for free if you want to use that project file just go ahead and download it from the link in the description once you downloaded it you have to just extract it in this video I'm going to show you how you can use that project file to create your own logo animation i mean create your own own logo reveal animation so without any further ado let's get started here we are again uh, once you downloaded the project file you just have a rare file uh, after you got a rare file i take it and extract here uh, you before you started your project file you just need to create your logo uh, in square pixels it will be better if you create it in 250 cross 250 pixels i just have 500 cross 500 pixels uh, resolution so after you reveal uh, extract your uh, project file just open it <coughs> just wait until it's get open I don't need this anymore. Uh, I just made this uh, project file too simple as possible, simple, simple as possible for you to use. Uh, uh, once you open the project file, this position keyframing options open uh, already, and the title bounding box opacity keyframes open already. I mean, I'm not. I don't. This is not open actually. Uh, it will look like uh, this. Uh, it will open the size property and open position property for you uh, there is a reason uh, I, I left this open uh, just follow along this tutorial if you want to create your own logo reveal animation like fix and perfect or uh, the keyframe I mean the playhead is lost at the time timeline this is for uh, another reason so once you got the project file opened, you just have to re rename your uh, your name with uh, your name title editor. Just double click it and edit your name A D I R E I space M E J I. Once you're done, uh, you are ready to play this animation. Uh, be uh, before that, you need to replace your logo. So come here and extract these assets and right click the your logo. Replace footage and file press the file once the go to your uh, logo location and open it import it once you import it it will be resized uh, if you, you if your logo size is in uh, 250 cross 250 so you have to go to the logo holder and uh, click the it is uh, smaller than the composition size so we need to fix the uh, fix the layer size to composition size so select the layer and ctrl alt f press ctrl alt f if you have any doubt what uh, shortcut key i am pressing uh, while doing the tutorial you just have to look up here every single key press will be keystrokes will be registered here so follow along with that thing just close this composition we don't need it right now uh, we need the render it animation now you if you play I will create your animation. This is how you can create your uh, logo reveal animation. 
it is totally easy very few clips you can create it and if you have uh, a name which is bigger than the box which is over here it won't reveal the name out of the box so let's have an example let me type adi rei maji space y o u p u b e if you type like this if you play you play again Uh, it won't it won't reveal your entire name and the box you saw uh, what hatch uh, and the box you saw it is not bigger than the bigger than your name so in these uh, cases you need to resize the box size uh, the bounding box size that's why I left the size keyframe open so once you got the name uh, you edited the name go ahead and zoom the timeline and then pick your playhead to the keyframe of this keyframe the size creep second size keyframe of this tighty bounding box once you get to there you just need to increase the x size uh, you can't change the y size uh, because of some reason the height is still same for everything once you resize it, uh, you need to make sure the playhead is after the fourth uh, marker. Place your, uh, I mean, place your playhead after the fourth marker, and then press the align horizontally in align panel. If you don't see the align panel, come here and the window and press align, and then you will have it. In the align panel, you have to press. Align after you selecting this layer. Once you align, uh, it will it is too big, so we need to resize it. Make sure when you resize it, you have to make sure it is in the last keyframe of this uh, layer. So you need to decrease. Okay, then we need to align it again. Uh, it is okay it is perfect for me right now uh, if you want you can uh, decrease further more uh, it, it looks good for me right now make sure every time you do change the alignment you need to go over the fourth uh, marker then press okay now yeah it is perfect now if you play again everything looks good except this uh, except this cursor uh, i mean the most pointer so you need to reposition three of the keyframe for that cursor so make sure you are look at this uh, it won't fix with the box it, it this uh, most pointer should be here right now so you need to bring your playhead to the second uh, I mean the second marker for a marker time. Then you have to press the cursor and Ctrl C P H for deleting the box. Zoom it up a little bit. <coughs> you don't need to change the first keyframe. You just need to uh, change the second keyframe. Once you got here, you just need to bring uh, press the move tool and bring this uh, mouse pointer over. Here, uh, place it here. It should look good. After that, you need to go over here and bring it here at the last keyframe. Move it and little bit up. Uh, don't place it uh, directly straight line it will look uh, weird so you need to ch make some changes okay that's it after you done it play it again all right okay guys if you like this video and the project file hit that like button if you want 
lot more video like this press that subscribe button and don't forget to press that bell icon uh, if you press that bell icon you will be notified every single time i upload a new video uh, hope you like this video thanks for watching without skipping any part and uh, if you have any doubt about this project just go ahead and comment it i will try to answer every single question you made and i took a lot of time to create this project so it's I, I will be happy if you do some notification for me I mean if you like or if you comment it will be helpful for me to grow up my YouTube channel so thank you for watching guys have a nice day bye